Well, it's a bit later today, but it's been quite rough this morning, even though it's supposed to be nice now. So we've had to leave it till later until the tide drops. It's flattening out now, so we're going to head out, do a few pots, do a bit of fishing maybe. We'll see when we get out there. And uh, well, we'll see you out there. Fishing out in a strong breeze. There's a light breeze, but a strong breeze. But we're here. Well, no draw on the fishing here, so we're going to go and do our uh, pots over here. First part of the day. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah? What will we have? Well, I'm hoping for something good. So this is, I don't know what pot this is. Oh, it's the metal one, the square one. Big square. She's under. Whoop. She's off. Drop it. So we actually, we actually put another set of pots out here the other day. We decided to put a set out here to try a bit deeper. So we went deep with them. We're um, actually in the tide still. It's actually slowed down a bit so we could reach the bobber. But it was just a gamble, see if we can get a nice crab or something out here in the deeps. We are pulling a lot of tide at the moment, even though it's calmed down, or it's slowed down a lot. Spring tide, you see. We're in about, we're only about 70, 80 feet of water, so it's not too, too bad. First pot is on its way. almost here and it's here it's gonna push forward a bit so we catch up the rope up quickly there is antenna in there got it yeah get that on as quick as you can it's gonna tighten up on you one lobster go for a sec while I drive the boat and hold the pot There we go. 
nice one. I'll show you again in a minute. Just need to keep control of all the stuff we're doing at the moment. Just one lobster, plenty of bait there. That's fine. Next pot's off the ground, which is always good. <laughs> when you're towing hard like that. Here it comes. And it's here. Wow, that's a big spider. Yeah, look at him. Looks in prime condition as well. Yeah, it does. How peculiar. We might be taking a spider in with us. That looks like a spider that's just come in. It's so clean and that normally they're very mottled and yellow and not very nice now, but that one looks like it's in really good condition. So we'll uh, take a closer look. We might have crap spider crab on the menu, which is really unusual. <laughs> but this time of year, to get a decent one anyway, that We are in the deeper area though, so it, it can be expected. Heck, that is a good crab. Look at him. Yeah, that's perfect. That's like it's just come in. Yeah, look at him. No yellowing, no chipping no, on the it's shell. Perfect. Nice and heavy. Too. Keep hold of that. Wow. That'll probably be a good meat and spider, yeah, that one. I yeah. reckon it will. Yeah. Nice. So there you go. Nice big spider at this time of year. It's amazing. It just shows there are around, or maybe you just came in really late. Look out. <laughs> look out, look out. Somebody's claimed ownership. I suppose you might have to snuffle, snuffle a claw off of it. To be honest, that would be the last thing I'd expect is a decent spider at this time of year. Just shows there are one or two around, but you don't get many. But we are in the deeper area and they are a bit better. Yeah. Maybe they've started coming in already for next year. Yeah, they just look like a fake. That's the lobster we had. That's the lobster we had, legal size. Missing a couple of legs though. But that's okay, we've got a lobster and a spider crab. Okay. Nice, a spider crab. It is when it looks like that. I mean, that, that just looks so out of place. Another look at it. I mean, look at it, it's so clean. I'm fascinated because usually crab at this time of year, they've changed their shells, they've done this, that and the other, and they're, they're horrible now. You wouldn't want to yeah. eat them and they get yellowy and they get a bit of moanery when you eat them but that, that looks like a perfect conditioned it, crab it does but like they do get them so I mean it's lovely and heavy yeah that's the thing. totally out of season but oh. I'm, I'm going to say that's perfect yeah oh well that and that that'll do we're now lifting this set of pots it hasn't been lifted for three days it's just a single pot we've got out here we don't often get to it that's why we're uh, it's been out for three days we just can't get to it so it gets left here, it's heavy enough to handle the weather and uh, we check it when we come out fishing here or when it's calm like now and it gets stuck to the bottom because it's extremely rocky here looks like it's on top of the rock we put it in the deep part, but this is only 30 foot here right, let's get that out of the way quickly There is. It's got a small lobster in it. Up. That's it. Got it. That one. Yeah. It's a male one. Yeah. I'm going to say he's in. I'm going to call in on that one. Yep, that's in. It's only got one claw. It's got a nice claw though. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Nice claw. All right. <laughs> Here we go with the pots. So we've come in, we're sort of 
in from the out, and we're going out again from the in. <laughs> and then we're going to uh, see what we got out there. We might move the in, the outs in, because because they're out and they're not catching much out there. So we'll see. And this spot's coming, and it is here. Oh, it's the orange pot. The orange. There's a little lobster in here. Oh, it catches a little bit. Don't get a picture. See? That's a dead lobster. I wonder what killed that then. So we've got an empty pot. Except that, which is dead. And it's been, it's lost a claw. It's been crushed, look. So the chances are, a bigger lobster's been in and killed it. And then got it out again. That doesn't mean it's good enough to eat. Not for human consumption. Oh, yeah. I think it's such a small lobster, it could have been just another small lobster that killed it. Right, here we go, next pot is here. much found its way to there I'm afraid. Yikes. Not very good. Just a brown crab in there and a couple of little spiders and a little brown crab. And next a set. This one's gonna have a great big crayfish in it. I've just decided, just out of the blue. Not very positive thinking. Yeah, well, you know, gotta be positive. If you're gonna catch, you gotta think positive. Yeah. Very commendable. Considering I've got old knackered bait in here, it's probably not very likely, but you never know. Probably be a crab in this. I'm gonna say a crab. Lobster, just a baby, a little weenie, mm. a weenie lobster, a little spider. Slightly bigger spider. Let it go before it gets my finger. And what you all been waiting for? What you've all been waiting for? A brown crab. Ooh, 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 ooh. A brown crab. Let me just check him because he looks a bit light, but I'm going to say he's actually hard. Oh, yeah, that's actually quite hard. So it's not bad. Mm. We'll take him with us and we'll decide on the way in. That's what you need to do. It's an ooh, yeah. Can put this up there? Oh, yeah. I forget the folks. And I'll bring them over here. Yes, bring the folks in. Bring the folks in. Here we go, folks. So we got there. a nice big lobster in there. Oh, look at that one. If you would like to extract I the will, lobster. Yes. Extract for a closer view. Get rid of this. 
offensive smell. Oh, I'll step back, shall I? <laughs> To the lobster, that was not an offensive smell. I can assure you of that. Being difficult. There we are. There we go. What Look a at that. Lovely specimen. That is a belter of a lobster. Mm. Nice. Great stuff. Perfect. Yep. That's what you want, you want them about that big. Mm -hmm. Right. these in pretty shallow just to see and we're out at sea but pretty shallow on the rocks don't tend to usually get too close to these rocks but they're not deep these pots here it comes and it's here Got it. oh, it's done the biz it has done the biz. Gamble has paid off. Yep. Size one. There we go. Nice lobster. Orange spider in there, that's it. Whoa! Shame about the claws, but whoa! Mm. Yeah. That's a big one. Look at the size of the lobster, and the, yeah. <laughs> the claws are tiny. She's even been fighting yeah, with those. Yeah, she's fighting with those, yeah. Oh well. There you go. This part is not where we left it. We left it all the way over there, but it seems to have arrived here. So. Hopefully, whenever it got lifted, it got dropped the same day that we lifted it. After we've done it. And it's here. <laughs> got a lobster in it. <laughs> I'll take it. The moving pot. Maybe it did move, drag, and then stop, and then lobster just stopped like a puff. Yeah. Picking, picking the lobsters up. Yeah. Well, it caught. And like I say, it either got lifted or it dragged with the tide, but whichever. I'm hoping, like I say, it was dragging like a like a bus, stopping at the bus stop, picking yep. up the lobsters. Well, it got one. Oh, good. Nice one, too. Nice. Yeah, lovely. I just an inkwell in the bay on a little tiny bit of rock that I passed over the other day. Some pencil in there. It had a lobster on it. Mm. Yup. Future little one. The big ones don't get in first. There you go. Let's get this bait because this is only like this big. I can see it actually. It's like a little size of a truck. Maybe not. I think we drifted off a bit actually. So I still can't believe we picked up a big spider like that this time of year. Like I say, normally they're just out of condition, but this thing is perfect. 
but we were out in the deep so we probably got it coming in from the deep so he probably hasn't changed or mated or anything like that but absolute cracker though it's got to be about four pound that one and we've got that crab as well the brown crab which is perfect looks a bit pale but he is actually rock hard so we'll be taking those for the table